Hey, this is Orion's Angel, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add my bezels to RetroArch. It's one of the questions I get asked the most, and um, this is going to show you how easy it is. Now, the question I get a lot is, where do the bezels go? Where do I put the bezels? Well, it's really not a big deal. You can put them absolutely anywhere you like, but I put them in RetroArch because it's convenient. So I put them in a folder inside RetroArch called Overlays and you'll see them all right here. So I go here and you'll see my bezels are here in different folders from different ones I made. So you know they're in different packs. So no big deal. Just put these files wherever you want. Don't worry about it. It's I just put them in RetroArch because it's very convenient. You should probably do the same thing. It would be easier to find them. So that's where you put them. No big deal. Very easy. Now. So. Here's Street Fighter 2. We're going to open this game now. Okay. Here's Street Fighter. It has no bezel. No shader. No nothing. So okay, I just pressed F1 and now we're in the RetroArch settings. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is go to Quick Menu. Go down to the bottom to where it says On Screen Overlay. And you're going to go down to a file called Overlay Preset. Hit that and this is your directory on Windows just inside RetroArch because you'll see a parent directory at the top you'll see at the very top there's a parent directory it's inside your windows files see the more you go back you'll go back to your C drive and all that so right now I'm inside you'll see as I go back you'll see RetroArch here now I'm going to go to overlays like I showed you earlier and we're in that same folder now see so now I want to put the Street Fighter 2 bezel here so we're going to go down here I'm going to pick this one and now press F1 again and there we are there's the bezel I made now of course you want to add the mega bezel shader what you're going to do now is press F1 again. And now you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to video. You're going to go to scaling. Once you're in here, set this to custom. This will allow you to adjust the size of the screen and move it where you want. Left or right, up, down stretch it left or right stretch it up or down now go back to quick menu and go all the way down to shaders load because you want to load your shader your shader should be in a directory in RetroArch that's where you should put them and um, we're gonna go here to shader slang we're gonna go to bezel here are the bezels, the, the reflections, the mega bezels. I like to use this one. Wait a little bit. And there we go. Press F1 again. You'll now see that it's too small. So you're going to go to settings, go to video, go back to scaling. And now you're going to want to stretch this file. keep stretching between these two as it gets bigger press F1 again see your progress you can use transparency but I don't like to use that I'm adjusting it from left to right I'm gonna move it up a little stretch it a little Move it from left to right. 
Stretch a little. Move it up. Move it up. Okay. Now go back to quick menu. Go to the shaders and go to shader parameters. And here's where you can control the settings for all the uh You'll see the version I have up here of the shader. It's an older version. You can add, the, it might be diff a little different for the one you add, but this is the one I use. And now this one, the non-integer scale, will zoom it in more so you can see it more. You can make it larger. Now, if the corners, you can, you can extend the the sides of the bezel by going down here to these two width and height and that'll actually see the side how it's increasing you can increase the bottom too, make it longer now I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna go back to setting I'm gonna go to scaling again I'm gonna move it this way adjust it until it's in the middle You'll see it's starting to fit. Now, if the left and right sides are too thick, you can go over here, back to quick menu, back to shaders, go back to shader parameters, and you'll see this one explicit aspect ratio. You can stretch the sides. See? Now it's coming together. Maybe a little bit like that. We'll zoom in a little. I might want to move it a little bit more. So I'll go back to settings, video, scaling. We'll move it a little bit more to the right. And I want to have it how I like. Go back. Now we're going to save. This is very important. We're going to go to quick menu. We're going to go to shaders. We're going to go to save. You're going to go to the one at the bottom that says save the current shader settings as a default setting for this content. That means it'll only affect this Street Fighter game. No other content. Save it. You save the preset. Go back. Now you're going to want to save the bezel itself. Override. Go to same game overrides. Save an override configuration file which will apply to the current content only. Hit that. And now you're ready. Now we're going to see if it's saved. I'm going to open it again. And there you go. You just added your first bezel and shader and you're all set to go. Now, I know this might be a little controversial because I'm using uh, the old methods to do it. I know there might be better ways to do it now, but I'm just used to doing it this way. And I, got, I know a lot of people wanted to know how I did it and this is how I do it. Maybe it's a slower way. I don't know, but it's just the way I'm used to it. And uh, I actually find uh, um, like joy in just doing it this way. It's just like the way I'm just used to it. So anyway, uh, thanks for all the support, guys. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to get uh, updates. Uh, I'm really happy uh, with all the support I'm getting. I'm almost close to uh, 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And... Um, Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.